just had to leave. Cheaper overnight, that's all it's saying. Got our ticket, it's a maximum of 72 hours to park here. A maximum of uh, 20 camper vans. We need the ramps. I think this spot will do nicely, don't you? At this, the Dolomites is just the most spectacular mountain range. Absolutely stunning. This is our view from the front of Katie. You can hear the river passing down. There's, there's lots of walking. Oh, it looks like they're doing some um, the water canyoning. That's the word, canyoning up there. They've got wetsuits and things on. Behind me there is the cable cars up, so we should be checking out all the routes. Well, the plan is to go on those cable cars up to the top and then back down. see the air is just down there. The guy said it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to get down which is a little bit disappointing. 15 euros. It's a euro a minute each. Yeah. <laughs> So our tickets don't even work for the next lift. So we're going on the e-bikes up under our own steam. Either power or sport mode to get up there. So rocky, it's difficult. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> it's about the same place I got to. You wanted to beat me, didn't you? If it was a smooth surface, then we'd have done it. Oh my, that was so tough. She won't be in a minute.
Boom. Boom. Here <laughs> on this panel. That's the result of my eyes. God. That was good fun. Oh, I just love it here with the uh, sound of the water, so peaceful. Grasshopper. I can hear grasshoppers <laughs> as well. Got my, uh, got my ghost ship as well. Real ale from, uh, from the, brought in from the UK. And our bodies have just started to relax after that boat <gasps> We so need full suspension. Oh my goodness me, that really was quite testing, wasn't it? It was a bit rickety, rickety, a bit bumpy, wasn't it? Yeah, I felt yeah. like the bike was gonna like collapse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, cheers. Here's to a good few days in the Dolomites. Is it the right one? Successfully got the first bus. Yes. One euro, one euro fifty each, and that was at eight thirty-five. Uh, it's only about. Five ten minutes, I think, down into Selva, where we can look for the chairlift to take us up to the mountain. Ooh, I'm so excited! Oh, I can't wait. So it's just straight off the bus onto the Danseppies. Normally got skis on when we're doing this. <laughs> so stand on the footprints. Oh, no heated seats today. Bye, heck, it's cold. <laughs> mm. So we can see the uh, the cable car which we got off just up there. We're walking down now to the Danteseppi. Which is this one. Then you get right over the other side to the refuge, which does amazing pancakes apparently, according to Herdy Travels. So we're definitely stopping there. <laughs> See the old cable cars through the years down there. God, that little tiny orange one, it was a suitcase. Just at the intermediate station, we're going all the way up. Now we're on to route two. Who is at the two hours thirty? Probably up all the way. Definitely feel the altitude going uphill. This is at least twice the height of Mount Snowden and we're nowhere near the top. Looks like there's a few groups walking up. We thought we'd set off early. Uh, still groups here. They're probably guided. So we just reached the first fault summit. Right there, look, look like the top. It's not the top. It's on and on. If Mars had grass and air to breathe and an atmosphere, I believe this is what it would be like. Wow, these rock formations are amazing. So basically, I'd say it's nothing like Mars really. Quite a zigzaggy section here to get up, but looks like we are making good height progress.
two hours to go. Volcano over there, isn't it? We've just spotted Piri's hut in the distance. looking for somewhere for lunch and uh, struggling really so we thought this, this will have to do. Have to do. We're now just 20 minutes away from the refuge which is roughly the halfway point pancakes beckoning like an oasis i can see the flags oh my god pancakes are calling Where's Hüte? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I'm gonna get mental. Mental. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nee, nee, der älteste ist sechs. Der hat jetzt seine Einführung. Oh, 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 oh. We are not sharing this. We're having one each. Oh, just look at that. My eyes are like sparkling. <laughs> so the correct name for this is Kaiserschmann. There we go, the expert. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed. All that talk about pancakes and you didn't even finish them. <laughs> I'm so full. My belly is bursting right now. Look at this, so. Very, very delicious. Even for me, they were a bit of a gut buster, but I did manage to finish them. <laughs> I think I did really well. I wanted to stop halfway, but I thought, no way, I've been going on about so much, I can't sort of shovel them in. <laughs> oh, this looks uh, like it could be tricky. I'll have to see how it unfolds. We can see virtually the whole route back. It's quite a zigzag, quite a steep descent. Which is why I've got the poles out. This is really steep and quite slippy, so definitely if you have them, bring some poles. Down to the tree line now. Good job as well because it's super hot, so hopefully we'll get some shade soon. Whew. We've come from all the way down. Much of the path on this section, I think the uh, the storms recently have washed it away. Well, it's beautiful, this uh, section a bit lower down. All the water streams and uh, the trees, wow. Opened out and levelled out a bit more now. It's got a bit easier, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want it to end though. It's one of those walks where you're just enjoying it so much. And especially down here, it's so pretty and it's a little bit cooler. Love it. I think we'll have a treat at the end though. A treat? Yes. Well, an apple spritz. Maybe, and a beer. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> I'll race you. Come on then, let's go. Is that it? I still see up there the flags where the refuge was and we walked all the way down to here. Still another hour and a ten to go. Have you found a little house on the prairie? I'm the dust mate. We're tired. Oh, oh, this is a tough walk, isn't it? We, it's because we've not stopped. We've just walked really fast all the way. I'm feeling it now. Oh, I need an apple. It needs to be refreshing and I'll be back to myself. Bouncy. Just on the road section now, down into Selva. Really. Almost back, but even the footpaths through the town are beautiful. Gorgeous. I notice you're not taking us through the town, baby. Why is that? This is the route. Is it though? Yes. Because there's all those shops down there. No, they're all shut. <laughs> no point going. Final way mark. The bar. Cheers. Cheers. And here's our bus back. 
number 352. And oh. we're back off the bus. We haven't got very much dinner because we haven't done any shopping for a while. So we're gonna go and check out the cafe over there and see if we can get some nice pasta on me. We are. We're quite tired, so I can't bother to cook anyway. So yeah. fingers crossed. Didn't really see a supermarket, did we? No, we didn't. So we should have come a bit more prepared, but it was a Sunday when we came here anyway, so shops all weren't always open, were they? No room at the inn. Well, no. there's room, but we don't want pizza, do we? No, or a sandwich. <laughs> and then we looked at the restaurant, but it's all a bit too fancy, really, and we're not really up to that either. So we're going to cobble something together in the motorhome with very little food, aren't we? <laughs> well, there we go. Definitely a cobbled together meal, but uh, hopefully it's going to be tasty enough. 